fun, 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 and fancy free. Yeah, as you probably already guessed, I actually watched a lot of this movie when I was a kid. I don't know. Well, basically, I watched it. I had a lot of video cassette tapes of, of Disney movies when I was a kid. And this was one of them I watched a lot when I was a little boy. Wait, when I was living in a, in a nice duplex somewhere in, uh, in a town somewhere in the state. Oh, yeah, I've always watched this, and it was, and for what it is, it's def, it's really a good movie. I really enjoy it when I, as a kid, as an adult, I still like it. Like, there's two, sh much like the other films, there was, a, there was like a bunch of shorts, but now, oh, in this one, there's only two. So, yeah, it's not like how, it's not like Make My Music or Fantasia, it's just like, like two stories I was thrown in together. Or, well, kind of three stories, but... Uh, but it's mostly two. Well, one of them is about... Oh, yeah, well, the, well, Jiminy Cricket is in this film. Like, the second Disney animated film. Well, second and last Disney animated feature that he's ever in. But, um, the first short that he, uh... That Jiminy Cricket gives us is about a... It's about a bear named Bongo. He's a circus bear, uh, but doesn't feel very appreciated by his... By his masters. One day, he basically... One day, during a train ride, he basically... is like, screw this, he's... I uh, like, jumps out of the train, and then he heads in down... On to, to, sorry, heads all the way down to the wild. He comes across a, another female bear. Or uh, before, he, oh yeah, he comes across a female bear. But while he was like, uh, like trying to survive the entire forest, like get into the new life, but he doesn't feel, all fit in there as well. But then he comes, then he comes across a female bear. But, uh, but much like Popeye the sailor, he, oh, he falls in love with a girl. Then there's a bully character, and then then beats the crap out of him, and then oh, they have a big showdown at the end. On it. And it's a good short. It's a fun short. It has a cute song like, uh, where is a slap? Uh, and if you know what I'm talking about, it's a song on where uh, the bears like when they fall in love, they actually slap the face and slap each other's faces, which is actually funny in the end, cute. But uh, I don't know if it would fly by for everybody, but it's cute. Uh, though, but it is a cute little old love story. Uh, with really good animation, it's a back, a nice look at backgrounds, the connection of the characters. I was like, well, I don't know what to say about it, like connection, but all this is just a bear that just wants to survive, wants to leave the circus and have a life on his own. On and then, of course, comes across the female bear. So Bongo, the bear, bon the little bear Bongo was a really good short. The, then after that, Jiminy Cricket surprisingly gets an invitation to a party. Wait, and not just an invitation to a party, or a place full of puppets. What's that? Oh, and then, yeah, the the puppet story is about is with Edgar Bergen, the the uh, one of the greatest uh, and one of the old uh, ventriloquist people. Oh, and yeah, it's pretty weird, but I actually enjoy it. But the next actual short is called Mickey and the Beanstalk, the final appearance of, of Mickey Mouse in any Disney animated film. Oh, um, and actually, the last time you heard, oh, well, actually, uh, hear Walt Disney do his voice as well. Oh, but that's actually where the part. Well, that's where I thought that was great. All right, the Mickey and the Beanstalk story. Oh, yeah. Well, at first, it opens up with a little harp. Oh, like, you know the story. The harp gets captured by a giant. Oh, and then a, a little boy named Jack oh, he tries to sell all a cow oh, to, like, get some money oh, because his farmland and his mother are basically broke and they need food. Oh, but then the mother, like, basically sells the... He finds the... Like, oh, sorry. He trades in the cow for, like, some magic beans and stuff. And that's like, the exact same plot for this movie. Well, for Mickey and the Beanstalk. But this time it's with Mickey Donald, my, my favorite Disney character of all time, Goofy. We had, and it's about as fun and imaginative and creative as you can imagine. The thing, the connection of, there's actually good connections to the characters in this film than there was any connections in the la, in, uh, in Bongo. Oh, but you, I mean, it is pretty developed very well. Oh, but it's just nothing, it's just that the short itself wasn't that special, but it's still good. This, I thought, was a great short. And the best part, it's not just with Goofy as well. The best part is the villain, the w Willy the Giant. Well, not necessarily a Disney villain, but he's kind of the antagonist of this picture. What I love how all the uh, the characters are like to are like acting like the original classic, my like, God, uh, a Jack and the Beanstalk story. It's kind of and who would have thought that years later they would actually do another film with those three characters called the Three Musketeers. Or oh, said that's a really good movie as well too, but not quite as good as this one though. Oh, I also love how the giant can like turn into. Oh, that's a really cool plot thread that. 
Oh, no, no. Not plot thread. Plot device, I mean to say. That the that the giant can actually like, turn into animals and into other inanimate objects. Which is really cool, but doesn't that seem a little confusing? But I'm actually cool with it, and I'll buy it. Uh, but, yeah, those are the only two shorts that are in this film, and they do pretty well together. But the best one is Mickey and the Beanstalk. And if you haven't seen that one yet, definitely check... Well, if you haven't seen Fun, Fun, and Fancy Free yet, it's definitely highly enjoyable. Or if you have it on video, or, like, laying around somewhere, put it in. Or, or if you have it on DVD, check it out. Or it's really worth your time. It's a great family film for you to check out. And if, or, But if you actually have seen it, what did you think about it? Or, and you know the drill. Like I've been saying in my other videos. Well, let's comment, subscribe, like, follow me on everything. We will on uh, Twitter and Facebook. And I will see you in a little bit. Take care.